in the year 2000. I'm just kidding. Hi right, guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am, and I uh, bet only a few people will get that reference, and hopefully they had a laugh. <laughs> um, we're going to be listening to a Patreon pick today from our patron, William L. Thank you for support, William. I really appreciate you, my friend. Uh, we're going to be listening to Bruce Springsteen for the first time on the channel. Um, I'm familiar with his radio hits and whatever's on the radio kind of stuff, you know. Uh, but I'm not really familiar with him, but I am familiar with his keyboard player, David San Sanchez. Sanchez. Uh, we've been doing some of his solo stuff, man. He is fantastic. I, I of course, know Max Weinberg because I uh, watched a lot of Conan as a, <laughs> as a child. So I am a huge fan of Max's. Uh, he's an amazing drummer, so I'm very excited to listen to this. Uh, the track is nine minutes long, and it is called Jungle Land. So let's do it. It's off his album Born to Run. It was his third studio album, uh, it was released in August 1975, uh, and it was his attempt to break into commercial success after a disappointing first two albums. Wikipedia. <laughs> if y'all aren't subscribed, please help a brother out, click that icon right below my face. I'd really, oh, Deftone shirt, technically. I'd really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds, it's absolutely free. And it really helps the channel out, guys. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Jungle Land by Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band 3. Two, one, hit it. Oh, that's David, yep. Yeah. God, he can play piano so well. The Rangers out of homecoming in Harlem late last night. And a magic rat drove his slick machine over a Jersey state line. Barefoot girl sitting on the hood of a Dodge, drinking warm beer in the soft summer rain. The rat pulls in the town, rolls up his pants. Together they take a stab at no mass and disappear down from in the lane. Will a maximum lawman run down from in gold chasing her head in a barefoot girl? The kids around here look just like shadows. Always quiet, holding hands. From the churches to the jails. There it is. Hell yeah. He tells a story very well. The boss. Very cinematic and like epic sounding. Data Sanchez kill it. Does that sweep so well? Straight down the line.
Goddamn. Damn, the chair's creaky as hell. Clarence Clemens, killing it. Fucking Max is doing a great job too, man. He's got some great touch. Sax is amazing. And some strings too, shit. That's beautiful, man. I kind of didn't know what to expect going into this, and I've loved this so far, no lie. Good pick, William. Beneath the city, two hearts beat. Soul engines running through a night so tender. That's Bruce still? That doesn't sound like him. In a bedroom locked in whispers of song. Refusal and then surrender. In the tunnels uptown. The rats on dream guns him down The shots echo down in hallways in the night No one watches and the ambulance pulls away Or as the girl shuts out the bedroom light Outside the streets on fire Between what's flesh and what's fantasy Man, the poets down here don't write nothing at all They just stand Oh my god, David Sanchez isn't even on this and in the of the night, they reach for their That's Roy Batan doing it Duh Dummy But they wind up wounded Not even dead Tonight, My apologies <laughs> Jungle Land. Oh wow, Roy is absolutely amazing at piano. Holy shit, I feel bad now. <laughs> Oh, 
shit. The Professor. I apologize for not saying your name correctly, sir, because you are not named David Sanchez. <laughs> Damn, that was great. Great pick, William. Mm, guess what? I'm not even going to edit out my mistake because I have never done that and never will. <laughs> my apologies. Yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, it honestly didn't really feature much of Bruce. Um, let's see. Hold on. So this is track eight, technically. What, what did he do? Oh, he did lead and rhythm guitars, so he did the guitars on this. Uh, but like vocally, um, it's pretty sparse from him. Like he had the beginning and the end, but the middle section was one of those, just like everyone gets a turn to do what they want to do sort of thing. And man, it it sounded great, man. And he tells the story so well for that for that first uh, few minutes that he is like singing and stuff like that. Like he really uh, tells a story well. Um, he describes like exact moments, and that you can just you know he you can hear the details and what he's saying and you can almost picture it in your head you know that exact thing he's talking about and uh he's got such a unique voice that's like uh, unmistakable like i almost thought that was someone else singing there in the second half when it picked back up because it didn't sound like him but he must have a bunch of different voices you know because he's a classic i don't know if he's classically trained or whatever i don't know man but he's got one hell of a voice uh and he knows what he's doing man like then obviously he's the boss you know like i said i know the radio hits this is my first time really sitting down and listening to his music like this but i really really liked it though um i feel kind of like a, a dummy though for saying that was david sanchez uh david sanchez only played on born to run which is the title track to this album uh other than that it was mr roy batan on the piano um he was absolutely fantastic, this entire track. Uh, both of them are fantastic, so that's why I mistake, uh, mistook, mistook him for uh, David, probably. Because he was up and down, up and down, man. Like, he literally can play anything. Like, the speed and, like, the intensity in which he plays the piano is wild. Um, he can get up and down like it's nothing, you know. And it sounded great. It kind of paired really well with, with Max on the drums, obviously. Um, but then I really think that the real standout was Clarence Clemens on the saxophone. Holy shit, was that sax um, just soul crushing at points? Like, it just, you could hear the sadness ringing out from it like it was like a dirge or something. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I felt it. And I don't know if this song is supposed to, like, evoke happy or sad or nostalgic. I don't know what it is, but it kind of evoked some, um, not sad, but just melancholic sort of emotions for me in that saxophone, man. It, it, I felt it. <laughs> out of all those stuff in this song, that was the one thing I felt the most, probably. And I'll have to look Clarence up, man. He was. That was killer. He was killing it, honestly. Uh, it really, it was a kind of, it's that music that like, makes your hair stand up on your arms like that just a little bit, you know. It was just that one section. The rest of the song I liked too, of course, but that was my favorite part, definitely. Um, and then, of course, Mr. Roy Batane on the piano, just killing it too. Um, Max Weinberg on the drums, like I said, he basically was just doing his thing back there, just keeping everything in time. Like, it wasn't anything crazy. Like, when he came in there at the middle part, though, it sounded really good. But the drums are kind of, Far back in the mix, too little, too far back for my liking. Uh, but that's me as a drummer saying that, so that's why. <laughs> but other than that, like I really, really enjoyed that. That was a great, great pick, William. Thank you very much for that. Sorry for mistaking uh, David for that. I apologize. I'll make a little note there at the beginning of the video, probably. <laughs> um, but I think that's it on me, guys. If you have any other tracks by Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, or just E Street Band, or just Bruce Springsteen, I don't care. Uh, leave it below. I'll definitely do them or check them out, man, because I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, that was way past his like radio stuff you know what i mean like the radio stuff i've heard a million times i, I can't tell you at the top of my head <clears throat> what they're called but uh if you told me the names i'd be like yeah that's the one you know but um yeah if you guys have any other tracks like this um i'm totally down for more that was really good and if you didn't know we have a patreon right here uh, there is the link in the description you can click uh, if you want a video just like Mr. William did here I <laughs> see the camera comes to me now uh, <laughs> if you want that uh, join the ten dollar tier or up and you get one free request a month. This is the last month that it'll be like that, though. From now on, uh, starting in April, it'll be $15 and up. The exclusive member tier will be the only ones with the song requests. Uh, supply and demand, as they say. Because uh, I am, wow. Yeah, you guys, you got me booked now. So I got to do something. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely uh, check it out. I really appreciate it. If you want hours and hours of bonus content, if you enjoy the channel and uh, you're not on there, you're missing out on half the fun. There's uh, a couple, there's three Beatles albums. One Jethro Toll album, um, some Zappa that got blocked, a bunch of other random stuff, tons of King Crimson, like I said, uh, just 
a bunch of stuff. Go check it out. And uh, if that's not your thing, there's also a PayPal link in the description uh, for tips, requests, and anything else. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you later.